we're going to let them stop and think for a minute. Now this is an opportunity, this, this stopping and thinking. If you go back and watch his other videos, you'll see that he does not hang out with us, with people, politely. He's always nipping at us and, and biting and playing. So I'm going to take advantage of this opportunity, and I'm going to come up here and just see if I can hang out with him in his space. Okay. Right there, he's reaching out to me a little bit, meaning he's, he's curious, and he reached, reached out to me and touched me, but he didn't nip at me at all. Now, it's important that while I'm hanging out here with him, I just stand quiet. We're, I'm just hanging out, and I want to hang out beside him too, not in front of him. Okay, so when we're hanging out with our horse, uh, when we're, we, for a horse like this, you have to teach him. You, know, you really have to teach him to stand with you politely. And this is going to prepare us for, it's going to help us groom him every day it's going to help us put the saddle on it's going to help us put the halter on it's going to help us to just hang out in the aisle with him you know if you take him to a show you're going to have to hang out with him he's going to have to be polite not be nipping and biting all over you okay right there <clears throat> instead of chasing him when he nips i'm just going to own space meaning i'm going to set a boundary it's a no fly zone right here boom don't cross that line all right <clears throat> you don't want to chase his face and push him away because then you're not using hurting pressure anymore. So you're just going to own the space. What you don't want to do either is be too wimpy with that. You don't want to go, eh, stop it. You don't want to be wimpy. Just be assertive. That's my spot, not yours. Okay. If you're too wimpy, they're going to, you know, a horse like this, could, it could mean game on, and they're going to be nipping back and forth with you. It's like, kind of like that nip game they play out in the pasture where one nips and then the other nips, and they keep nip, nipping back and forth at each other's mouth. Don't play that game. All right, don't play that. It's not going to help your cause. Yeah, that's pretty good. So right now I'm hanging out on his left side. I'm going to go back to the half circles here because he's starting to think about opening those lips up. He's nuzzling my, or opening my hand right there. <clears throat> he's starting to think about that again. So we're going to go back to work, and then I'm going to hang out on the other side. He needs to be taught. We hang out nicely together. Okay, so here we go. Push. Push. I'm going to be a little more assertive this time. So you got the idea. I expect more out of you every time, every day, every time. If you don't have that expectation, you might get stuck. I'm going to keep him in this drift a little bit until he can figure out what to do with the feel of that halter there. There he goes. Stop tossing his head around. So we need to address these things. That was a nice, nice series of turns right there. <clears throat> we need to address these things as they come up. I'm going to hold them here. There we go. Now the reason I'm holding them there is he is, he's tossing his head a little bit. He's a little uncertain to do with that, what to do with that new feel, with that lateral feel that I'm offering him. So I held it there just as a reminder. It's like going back in the sequence. I'm going to hold it there as a reminder to when you feel direct pressure, you come off of it. There you go. Good boy. When you feel this direct pressure, come off of it. Attach that to your outside hind. Attach this to your outside hind. Good. Now attach it to your inside front. And bring those four quarters through. Very nice. So we're going to dress this coming through. We're going to stay in this drift. So I can really balance him in this drift. If, his, um, if I need to balance his hind end out a little bit, stop. <clears throat> right there what happened. I'll get back to what I was saying in a minute. <clears throat> right there he was really taking my hand and pulling away. So what I'll do there is kind of come off to the top and outside of their nose and reinforce with that hurting pressure. Reinforce with that hurting pressure that, yeah, good boy, that direct feel. Did you guys notice, after I was assertive with him there, he blew out, meaning he relaxed. Okay. A horse like this, they not only want and desire, but they require an assertive leader. Not aggressive, assertive. It also gave him some clarity there. Because he was getting pretty, again, he was getting heavy on that rein and not finding relief with it. So using that hurting pressure, 
is going to give him some clarity. But your hurting pressure has to directly relate to the answer that you want. Because if you just start whacking on him, you're just going to scare him. It's not going to make any sense. <clears throat> now, if you were more of a timid kind of a horse, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be necessarily that assertive. Not to say you wouldn't follow through. I certainly would, but definitely not that assertive. This is this horse specific. Good boy. Very good. I'll swing him back through this way. Another great reason for doing this exercise is it really develops or it um, positions you as the leader of your little herd that you have here. Because you're constantly moving his body parts around you instead of backing away from him. I'm taking all that defensive posturing out that you've seen him offer me in the past videos by creating what I call the, is the pocket. It's that, it's that arc between his nose and his, and his shoulder. So the tip of his shoulder is not pushing through me it's not pushing through me, rather it's yielding. So right there we have a little communication breakdown. I said stop and he continued on with the pattern. So I'm getting him parked, I'm setting boundaries here, left and right, so I stopped you right here, this is where I expect you to stop. It's not your first time doing it, so I will absolutely follow through and expect you to stand still. You don't want horses making assumptions about what you're doing next, so that was a great example of what to do there. I didn't ask him to go the other way. I said, yield your hindquarters and stop. He yielded his hindquarters, and then he kept going. Okay. Wait for your rider. Don't leave me in the dust. I'm gonna reach out, just and reach out like this, just across his, the right side of him. And I'm gonna come in, step in. Now we're gonna hang out on this side. Again, horses have to, there he's uncertain right there. He started sucking back, so I'm gonna just reach out and pet him. He was uncertain about me being here on this right side. So reach out and pet him. He has to learn to hang out with us nicely. Now, I don't want to mess with him too much. I reached out to pet him because he was uncertain about me being here. Okay, he's gonna back up. I'm gonna step right in deliberately and pet him. Also make sure that my, since we've worked so much on following a feel, make sure that my snap isn't pulling him backwards. This snap under that connects my rein to his face. Just hang out here for a minute. I don't mind if he reaches out to me and he turns and he looks, if he's being polite about it. What I'm also really watching, if you look at his body language, he's positioned to back up right now. So that tells me he's a little uncertain about me being here. That's fine, that's why we practice. Let's see if he can just get settled in. A lot of times what they'll do if they're uncertain of you standing here is they'll back up like this to get a look at you. Because when they're uncertain, it's harder for them to bend. They like to stay straight so they can escape. So I'm just going to stay back here by his shoulder and see if he can get settled in and relax enough to reach out to me with his nose without backing up. Okay. It's going to be important to be able to do that, especially if you want to think about riding this horse. Just giving him a minute here. There, I like that he shifted his weight forward there even. All these little pieces mean, mean something, so make sure you're paying attention. Yeah, that's great. All right, let's get him moving here. There he is. All right, let's get him moving here again. I'm gonna reach out to him. He didn't reach out to me on this side, but that's fine. He, he got a little more settled in. So we'll move on. <laughs> <laughs>